video uh, is made for the sole purpose to educate and now I'm going to show you some few there are ways to troubleshoot this uh, first of all let me explain the components uh, as you can see Hello everyone, welcome to Excellence Biomedical Engineering. On this video, I'm having this portable uh, OT lamp, which I just decided to make a, uh, you know, a quick overview video of it. Um, you know, doctors, uh, when performing surgery, they need a high, uh, you know, illumination light, you know, so uh, this kind of lamp is constructed to provide that uh, a good view for doctors when performing surgery. So there's some few things you have to note as a biomedical engineer, uh, which I just want to make uh, just, you know, review. This video uh, is made for the sole purpose to educate. And now I'm going to show you some few there are ways to troubleshoot this. Uh, first of all, let me explain the components. Uh, as you can see, this is uh this is having about eight reflectors as you can see one two three four five six seven eight sorry nine nine reflectors okay so each of these reflectors inside we have this 24 volt uh you know 24 volt bulb you know it is 24 volts and uh, it is 25 watts so it should in case uh, you got yours damaged, so this is the specification of the bulb. And then from this cover here, we have two glasses over here. Now, as you can see, uh, I should have opened it, but for the safety, let me just leave it like that. This is a filter that is uh, put on to, you know, to filter uh, light irrigation as it is coming down. So, and then these are the lamp holders here. And then let's go to the top of the machine. So uh, most often when your client comes to you and say uh, he's having a problem with the light not coming, first of all, you look by the side. Some of these OT lamps comes with, uh, uh, what is it called? You know, they come with the fuse. So you check the fuse if they're all right. And you, you 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 move further first of all when you start from your cord you know your light cord your power cord if it is all right you come to the uh the fuse and then you go on we have high power inductors over here which are two mounted because it is separated into two part of this is for one inductor part of this is for one inductor so you check the inductors if they're functioning very well then in that case if all is fine now, for this case of this uh, OT lamp, the client said before all the lamps were working, then uh, one by one, the bulbs started to stop working. So it left only two, and now the rest of the two are now like have went blank. So they're not working anymore. So definitely uh, it must be due to the mismanagement of the, uh, of the client. It should have been... Uh, you know, uh, touched before even it gets to only two bulbs remaining. So now I'm going to check all these bulbs. If they are, you know, gone, then we're going to replace them with another bulbs, which are similar to this. And then if there's a problem with the inductor, then we talk about the inductor and get it replaced. So guys, if this is the first time on this YouTube channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.